Hi guys, Sam here. In this episode of Minecraft tutorials, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a basic hydro plant in with components of industrial craft, water mills, and red power uh, retriever, deployer, and filter. Basically, the first thing that you're going to have to do is set up a small uh, little area to contain the water. Uh, for me, I made this out of sandstone, so it'll go uh, look like this. And so you're going to stick your uh, deployer right there, your filter, so that the circle is pointing away from the deployer, and then this like this because the input on this is the orange side. You're gonna want to turn this so that it accepts all the things in this put a bucket into there so that it filters the buckets out of the uh, water mills so that it knows where in the buckets are empty and then just get a full water bucket and first fill up your infant water source there and put it in here so that it will filter the full water buckets out of here and you're going to want to hook up a uh, solar panel with some blue alloy wire to your filter as it's the only uh, machine in here that actually requires power. So if you want to go, you really only need one, but I'm just going to hook up some more to power it up faster. See how it's uh, going up significantly faster. Um, I'm actually probably going to put these onto the other side. And so now we're going to hook up some pneumatic uh, tubes to this. And we're, since my setup only is 20 water mills, you just need to make it a 4x5. Next step is going to be to take some uh, blue, uh, some red aloe wire, and then place it on top of all your machines. I'm just going to set it to uh, day. And so then you're just going to want to take the wire, run it out of here, and then that's going to be how we're going to power all of this and uh, filter empty buckets out, fill them, and then put them back into the water mills. Now we're going to get some water mills. Um, we don't need the red alloy wire anymore, so we're just going to place the water mills uh, like so. And so we're going to fill them all up with uh, buckets. So that at, once we start running it, it will just filter them, filter out the empty buckets and fill them all up. And um, it's really simple and it it cost um it will run forever without having you having to replace any parts on it which is what i find really convenient about uh it uh so it's basically completely it's a completely automated energy source it's kind of like solar panels except for the fact that um in my opinion it's just a little bit easier to make than having a large solar panel array so, so we filled that up now we're going to hook up the uh, low current cable. Uh, the yeah, the low current cable, ultra low current cable, and we're going to hook that up on top. And so I'm gonna wire that over to a um. That box, you can also run it with an MFSU or MFE. So you've got your input side, your uh, you got your, all sides are input. This is the one output side. So just make sure that your this isn't going into the orange dot, and you'll be fine for the input. Now we're gonna hook up the timer.
And so the time uh, I normally set my timer down to uh, uh, two point seven five seconds. You can see it's already filtering them out and putting them into the uh, machines. So now I'm going to take some redstone. And hook it up so that when the back box is full, it will uh, turn off and use a repeater in here. So, getting the repeater, putting the repeater down. And then just maintain this to emit it full. And so basically, this is your simple hide uh, watermelon. Plant. You can see it's producing quite a bit of energy, and you can just have this running forever and uh, right behind your back box to quite a compact design. So that's it. Signing off. Peace.